Ah, poor little fellas. When I think of their childhood, all those cute little maggots. <laughs> Our story is about a man with nobler ambitions. He likes to kill human pests, and he does it in front of an audience. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> so hang on to your hats, kiddies. This one's a real shocker. Here is Charlie Ledbetter sitting in his cell out the state penitentiary. It's long about midnight. Charlie's going to die in a few minutes. One thing Mr. Ledbetter ain't thinking about is Joe Saylor, his old boss. You see, one day Charlie had a half pint of vodka for lunch. He got to thinking about how they turned him down when he won that raise. Now, he felt real bad about that, old Charlie did. He'd been working there for about seven years, and he didn't have too much to show for it. So he went down and got his cold blue 44 out of the glove box of his Chevy, took it up to Mr. Sailor's office. Two slugs went into Sailor, three went wild. Last one went right through a glass wall into a secretary that's passing by. Got it right behind the ear. Killed it big as hell. Kind of a lucky shot, really. About the only kind of luck Charlie Ledbetter ever had. I guess right about now, Charlie Ledbetter's starting to think pretty serious about that valley of death. He's thinking about that rubber diaper they give him to wear. Wondering if he's gonna crap all over himself when I juice him in a couple minutes. He will. First thing you got to understand is when it's their time, all these big tough guys go yellow. Crying and hollering and screaming, blubbering, the governor's gonna call and all that. Well, I've been here 12 years and the governor ain't called yet. People say the damnedest things about electrocutions. They say your eyeballs pop out, they say black blood comes out your mouth. They say you get all foamy like a rabid dog. All that's bullshit. It ain't true at all. Nice thing about electricity is it's clean. Of course, I have seen a few heads smoke after it's all over. Smoking head ain't very pretty. Knock it off, Charlie. You're being some damn chicken shit. You killed somebody, now you're gonna do the hot squad. It all evens out, don't it, baby? Why are you doing this? You know, people right. tell me most executioners never look the prisoners in the eye. Afraid they're gonna get spooked or something. Not me. I always look. Uh. OK. 
Okay, Mr. Ledbetter. Now you're all ready for your regulation two jolts the state requires. I think we should proceed now. There's been a word from the governor. Yes, sir. We're all set. Let us pray. As I enter here with a sense of my own worthiness of Jesus Christ, abiding in May the blessings of God and unmixed joy accompany you. No! It's not a right! Let no evil spirit... No! No! It ain't right! Unworthy though I be, may my entry be blessed by you who are holy. You who are merciful, you who abide with the Father. They say electric current so fast the brain gets cooked just as soon as the switch is thawed. Prisoner never feels a thing. Boy, I'd hate to think that was true. I'm a country boy, but I like the city. You know? It's big, it's dirty. It let's you know what it really is. But at night, there's all those lights. It's a real party, isn't it? My name's Niles Talbot. I've been the executioner in this state for the last 12 years. When I got here from Oklahoma, I caught on as an electrician, and after a while, I got a job out to the prison taking care of the generators. I like electricity. It's dependable. You can trust it. Let's say do it with gas or with some lethal injection. I don't take to that. And that's how you kill a dog or a cat or something, not a man. It's gotta be the old electric chat for me. Special agents called Coyote Busters. The effort, which often includes agents from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the FBI, and other yeah. federal agencies... Cheese sandwich, a cup of coffee black. Agreement. Elsewhere today, the legislature is prepared to vote whether or not to rescind the death penalty in this state, only a few hours after the execution of Charles Ledbetter. Opponents of the bill claim the death penalty has proven an effective deterrent against violent crime, and its abolition will only push the crime rate higher and produce more overcrowding in our prisons. Many also claim that execution is still murder in the eyes of God. I'm terribly sorry, Niles. Hey, listen, it wasn't your fault. Nothing you could do. I gotta admit, the damn thing caught me by surprise. Well, if you'd like, I can write you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, well, I was, I was kind of hoping I'd get my old job back. I mean, you still need somebody to look after the generators down at the powerhouse. We already have someone for that, Niles. Hey, you remember you trained them. Now, listen, I've, I've been working here a lot of years. I mean, to an electric shop, another 12 throwing a switch for the state. Don't seniority count for something? It's not that, Niles. It's just that, uh... Well, we thought it wouldn't be good to have you around the prisoners. I mean, they all knew what you did. I mean, they all knew you were the man who... Could get pretty ugly. Listen, it's nothing I can't handle. If somebody gets out of line, I'd take care of myself. I can't let it come to that, Niles. I'm sure if you think about it, you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you a gold watch for, is it? One thing a man needs is a friend. Someone to talk to when you're feeling down and out. I suppose that's why they invented bars, you know? You nurse a drink, you think things over, have a little chat. All of a sudden, things ain't quite as bad as they seem. Most barroom conversations is either about baseball, football, boxing, or pussy. But with me, it's different. People usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I ought to say my ex-job. This one's on me, Mr. Talbot.